Alright, so we are on the last topic of the chapter 2 for the first grading, ano? So, identifying the problem and asking the question. So, yeah, hey, last topic na tayo for uh, chapter 2 or module 2 ng ating uh, subject na inquiries, investigations, and immersion. So, konti na lang, matatapos na. So, I think, uh, sigurado ako, marami na kayong natutunan sa uh, right at this moment, ano? Okay, so, ang our last topic for this module number 2 is the scope and limitation of the study. So, ito naman, paano ba ginagawa to? Okay, so, maya-maya ay tuturo ko sa inyo yung mga uh, techniques sa paggawa ng scope and limitation of the study. So, bago yon ay mag-review muna tayo saglit regarding your last lesson. Okay, so review time na tayo, no? So, the title of uh, this review is Questions to Answer on Importance of the Study. So, ilang question lang naman yung napag-aralan natin, ano? Uh, last time. So, ito yung direction. Arrange the jumbled letter and fill in the blanks on the lower box using it. Okay? Using the jumbled letter. So, meron tayong letter na ibibigay dito mamaya. So, ito yung ilalagay nyo dun sa bilang ko sa baba no? na number 1 okay, and meron pa tayong mga clue na ibibigay sa inyo okay, so let's start O no volume H so blank will benefit from your study kung nahihirapan kayo, eto pa ang clue Okay, so students, parents. Okay, three seconds. Timer starts now. So if your answer is, tignan natin kung ito yung sinulat niyo sa inyong papel. Mm -hmm. So the word is who will benefit from your study. So, kung yan ang sagot nyo, your answer is correct. So, next one. A. First letter. H. Second letter. A. Third letter. W. And fourth letter. T. How? Ano? Okay, so another clue. School Community Government. So the uh, item is blank institution will benefit from your study. So what is this uh, mystery word? Three seconds. So let us check your answer. Okay, so kung ganito ang inyong sagot. So your answer is what? Okay. So, your answer is, of course, correct again. So, nakakadalawa na kayong tama. Okay, pangatlo. First letter, U. Second letter, O. Third letter, T. Fourth letter, T. Fifth letter, U. And sixth letter, P. So, the question, what is the blank of your study and what are its benefits? So, 3 seconds para pag-isip at sulat sa papel. Okay, time starts na. Okay, so time's up. Let us check your answer. So, ayan, may clue pa. Kaya, action plan, advocacy video. Okay, baka mahirapan pa kayo yan. Dagdagan pa natin. Ayan, policy recommendation, innovation, book. So, example yan, itong kinulong mga letra sa taas. Okay, so end up na yung 3 seconds. Lagpas, lagpas na. So let us check your answer. And the word is out to. So ganyan ba ang naging sagot nyo? Kung ganyan ang naging sagot nyo, very good kayo because your answer is correct. Okay. 
So, punta na tayo sa pag-aaral ng scope and limitation of the study. So, ano ba to? So, this section establishes the boundaries and limits of the study. So, it must answer in particular the 5 W's and 1 H question. So, ito ang mag-establish ng limit. Ano, hanggang, kung hanggang saan lang ang inyong study. No? And, limang sagot. Ano? Limang, ano, limang question na dapat sagutin. Ano? We have five W's and one each questions na dapat sagutin sa scope and limitation of this study. So, ano ba tong five W's na to? So, unang-una na, yung number one, what? So, pag sinabing what, it is the topic and variable to be investigated. Ano ba? Tungkol saan ba yung study nyo, no? At ano ba yung mga variable na uh, pag-aaralan nyo? So, yun yung dapat uh, uh, masagot sa tanong na what. So, next, number two, where. Okay. So, pag sinabing where, dapat nasa scope and limitation nyo rin yung lugar or the setting or the local of the study kung saan nyo gagawin yung inyong uh, research. Ano? And then, number three, W question is when. So, when, of course, pag sinabing when, oras, panahon, petya. Okay, the time frame of the period consumed in the study. So, kailan kayo nag-start at kailan kayo matatapos. Gaano katagal nyo ginawa or gagawin yung inyong study. Okay, next, number four, W question. So, yung word na why, okay? So, pag sinabing why, kailang ilagay nyo yung objective of the research. Why are you going to do your research? What are your objectives? No? So, bakit nyo siya gagawin? Bakit nyo gagawin yung research nyo? And then, number five, the W, which is who. So, C, no. Ano? Who? The description and quantity of the subject of the study. So, sino ang inyong uh, subject? Sino ang inyong respondents? At ibibigyan yung description or characteristics ng mga uh, respondents nyo, no? Yung subject of the study. Okay? So, panghuling question na kailangan nyo sagutin sa scope and limitation is yung H or the how question. Pag sinabing how, So, you're going to state the procedure and methodology in conducting the research which may include the instrument to be used. So, paano nyo gagawin yung research nyo? So, you write the procedure or yung process. Ano yung mga step-by-step -step process? Ano? Paano nyo i-gather yung data nyo? So, kasama na rin dyan, kailangan isama nyo na rin ay yung instrument na gagamitin nyo sa research nyo. Alimbawa, ng instrument, yung questionnaire checklist. Ano? Pwede rin structured interview. Okay? So, evaluation instrument, pwede rin yun. So, madaming uri niyan, ano? So, yan ay sinasama sa how question, ano? So, sa, kasama yan sa isinasagot sa how question. Okay, let's have an example of this one. So, this research is about the effectiveness of work immersion in the students. It is limited to the boundaries of the work immersion of the 61 grade 12 students of San Roque National High School and the data and information collected. Let us study this one. Okay. Nasaan kaya yung what question dyan? Titigan yung maigi. Okay. So, ano ba yung topic na iinvestigahan dyan sa research na yan? So, let us check. Yan. Okay. So, the topic. The what question or the topic and variable to be investigated is the, in, the effectiveness of the work immersion in the students, ano? Okay, so next. Yung who. Ayan. So, napakadali lang tukuyin, ano? Kung alin dyan. Kung sino yung who. Okay, so pag sinabi natin who, the description and the quantity of the subject of the study. So, sino ba yung subject ng study dito? Okay, tingnan natin. It is the 
Grade 12 students of San Roque National High School. So, yan yung sumasagot sa question na who. At the same time, yung description niya ay grade 12 students. Ano? And quantity, 61. Okay, 61 grade 12 students. So, very uh, detailed tung paragraph na to. Okay, next. Tingnan naman natin tung next paragraph ng research na to. Yan. So, when, yung question na when, nasa naman dyan? Okay, basahin nyo muna. So, pag sinabi natin when, ulit, the time frame of period consumed in this study. So, alin lang ba yung petya dyan, ano? Okay, it is the uh, second week of December 2017 to first week of February 2018, ano? Okay, so yan yung sumasagot sa tanong na when, ano? Se okay, so next question is where. So yung setting of this study. Okay, so basahin nyo alin or saan ang setting ng study to, no? So saan ginawa tong study? So of course, yan. So ginawa siya sa San Roque Senior High School ano? or, or sa Senior High School Department of San Roque National High School. Okay, so adjust tayo ng konti. Next question, yung how question. So, procedure and methodology in conducting the research which may include the instrument to be used. So, alin ba yung procedure? Ano? Tingnan natin. Okay, so collecting, analyzing, and comparing the data. So, yan yung sumasagot sa how question. Paano ginawa yung study? Okay, then kasama rin dito yung instrument. So, yun, yung questionnaire checklist gumamit rin sila. Okay, so yun yung sumagot sa how question. So, kompleto. Okay, so tandaan sa scope and limitations ni study, dapat masagot yung 5 W's. And 1H question. So, isa-isain ulit natin. What, where, when, why, who, and how questions. So, mag-iiwan ulit ako sa inyo na isang quotation bago ko tapusin itong lesson na to. Ang isdyante ang gustong dumami ang alam, kadalasan, inire-replay ang lecture. So, kung may hindi naintindihan, I-replay lang at pakinggan, panoorin nang paulit-ulit yung mga video sa uh, interactive module na to. So with that, God bless you and keep safe.